It is time for us to bring in Mike Kazi and uh, Chuck Sports. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. So I wake up this morning and I see a, I always forget what my football picks were, but I do remember that I picked <laughs> that I picked San Francisco or Philadelphia. No, you didn't. I didn't. No, I, I didn't pick. You had Baltimore, New Orleans, and Buffalo. So I did okay then. Yeah, you won all three. I lost. I had San Francisco. Oh, because I, I woke up and, and I said, damn. Well, anyways, once again, it just it proves what a, what a weird product the NFL has. I'm sorry. Damn it, product. It, the, 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 the Giants uh, were pace for pace with uh, Los Angeles, which was just a joke. Uh, I kept tuning in and out of that game, and I, I kept – Tuning back in, thinking I'd see uh, 14, uh, 21 to 7, 39 to, didn't. But there's, once again, there's just two. And the, they should just, right now, cancel the NFC East. Cancel it. First place team is 1, 2, and 1. Second place team is 1 and 3. Third place team is 1 and 3. The last place team is 0 oh and 4. Yeah, but they start playing each other, so somebody's going to win. It, it just, it's just a sham. It's just horrible. We, you know, Divisions have their ups and downs. This is absolutely just horrible. Horrible. The Cowboys, Cleveland put up 49 points on them? Did they? Yeah, 49 points. <laughs> in, in Dallas. Well, what are you going to do? What a weird, it's just weird. All right, well, we have Monday Night Football that we have to get to. Oh, we do? Who's playing? There's actually two games tonight. What? Well, because one of the games was... Pan- was oh, yeah, Fig Newton had COVID. Yeah. So you've got... Uh, we'll start off with the Patriots versus the Chiefs at Kansas City. i got to take Kansas City. Yeah, tonight's the downfall of the Fig. Yeah. He starts losing tonight, and there will be trouble up in uh, New England. All right, and the game number two is the Falcons versus the Packers at the Packers. And the way the Packers are playing... I'll take the Packers. Me too. Yeah. We're staying, staying step for step. Yeah, no, no, We're I mean, both fifteen and five too. Uh, so that, that that's that. But now let's get on to the uh, first. The Preakness was held this weekend, right? Yeah. How did it go? Great race. Um, none of my horses ran. That's for sure. Art Collector, Thousand Words, they all tossed it. Um, but um, it was it came down between the Philly and the uh, Kentucky Derby winner, Authentic. In a, in a real nice stretch run, and Authentic got ahead of her, and she fought back on the rail, which wasn't a great place to be, and got the job done in the fourth fastest Preakness in history. Um, and it wasn't a real speed favoring highway. Um, Swiss Skydiver is probably the most consistent three-year-old in training this year, albeit that she's a filly. Um, she is a real special type of horse. She, she beat the boys yesterday in, in the Preakness. The last filly to do that was Rachel Alexandra. Um, she's a special kind of horse. Kenny McPeak has a big horse here. And uh, the way that the uh, older division with the Colts and Geldings is, um, the best horse in training right now is Monomoy's girl. Another, she's a mare now. Uh, and she's going to the distaff. Kenny McPeak said he's going to the classic with Swiss Skydiver. Um, he thinks that the mile and a quarter distance is probably her best distance. She hasn't. She's only run it one time in the Alabama, and nobody's going to argue with that. She ran her lifetime best buyer in that, and she won by three. And these boys are have a lot to be desired. They, um, there's no standout. There's no one that good. Um, you know, people are going to say, "Oh, well, tis the law is the greatest." Um, we'll see. I mean, she, she's going to go to Keeneland, where she ran a decent race to Art Collector in the Bluegrass. Um, off of uh, you know the, the weird spring that we had. Now that she's getting some more consistent type of training, um, she, she's, a, she's, she's a real good horse. She's a freak, and, and I don't say freak a lot. Um, really, really nice race on Saturday, and I'm looking forward to her. I hope McPeak does put her in a classic, and I hope she wins. All right, moving on to baseball. Uh, Oakland and Houston at 4 o'clock today. The Yankees and Tampa Bay at yes, 8 o'clock. The Yankees tonight. get to play at 8 o'clock again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a, it's a... I mean, if you look at the schedule throughout, and, and, and tomorrow there's, uh, there's four games, the Yankees play at 7 or 8 o'clock every night. I mean, this is garbage. It's absolute garbage. Why can't anybody else play at 7 o'clock tonight? The poor Atlanta Braves fans, they haven't seen a game start later than 2 o'clock the entire playoffs yet. 
It, it, it's really ridiculous. It's sickening. It makes me sick that the Yankees, the Yankees are, are the golden team that gets to play at seven or eight o'clock at prime time every night. I hope they get swept by the Rays for that reason alone. Uh, well, I just look at it this way: with all the with 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 all with all the teams that are playing, okay, but the, all right, and all the networks that can carry them. You can they, put every game on you, at eight o'clock and see exact, what happens, and then let the people go where yeah, they let go. Let them watch what they want. And you know what? As baseball, you would you would rule the night. Can you imagine if all the games were played on the same day, and they all went off? So they were scheduled to go off as evening games on different networks. Do you know how baseball would rule the ratings for that week? The Atlanta game and the Tampa Bay game. I won't call it the Yankee game because I hate them. The Atlanta game and the Tampa Bay game should start at 6, 6.30 Eastern time. And this way, the two West Coast games, well, they're all on the West Coast, yeah. but the West Coast fans with the A's and the Dodgers, that game should start at 9.30 our time so that they can see it in prime time. That's the way this lineup should be. They're both on two different channels. Fox Sports 1 and TBS are carrying the games. Yeah. You only have to show two games simultaneously. If you show all four at the same time, then the West Coast is in a disadvantage, and they shouldn't be. Every right. game should start at 6.30, East Coast, West Coast, same time. One, you got Fox Sports and TBS on one, and then you just go to the other one. And both channels have rollovers where if the game goes through extra innings, they can start showing the other game on another one of their yeah. sister channels. Yeah. Perfect setup. Why don't they do it? No, you're right. That's Who's gonna, who is going to watch the Braves today at 2 o'clock? Yeah. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. It and then make... again, on the same token... People on the East Coast want to see the Dodgers play. Who's going to watch the Dodgers game when it starts a quarter to ten tonight? Yeah. No, it's stupid. It's stupid. It is. You're right. It's, it's dumb. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. You, like you said, you, you have enough networks to carry this so that everybody could see the game that they want to see. But we can't do it. It's, it's, it's absolutely pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. And on top of that, you have two... NFL games tonight. So it's well, today you only have two baseball games, yeah, and they still can't get it right. That's exactly the A's are playing at one o'clock their time. If you were to tell me that you had two baseball playoff games on tonight and two football games, I think what you'd see come rating time that baseball far outpaced football. Yeah, far. I mean, just let's just let's look at today for one second. Why are the A's playing at 4 o'clock in the afternoon at, their t- on our t- <clears throat> at our time? Why aren't they playing 11 o'clock their time? Huh. It's a joke. Nobody's going to watch these games that are early. You can't, I mean, unless you don't have a job. Huh. Uh, terrible. Yeah. Absolutely terrible. Yeah. Bad job by Major League Baseball, and they continue to do it time after time. Well, I would say that it, 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 what, what, what makes it even worse now is now they have the technology to run the games the correct way with yep. all the networks. Yep. They have the technology, and they don't do it. They don't no. do it. There's no reason for them why they can't do it. Absolutely zero reason. And I, I feel sorry for these people. I mean, the Oakland A's fans, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, where are they going to watch the game? Yeah. Where are they going to watch the game? And then tomorrow, same thing. One o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. Why? Yep. Why is it? Why? Why do these people have to be penalized where they can't watch their team play? Uh, no, I agree with you a hundred percent. I agree. And with it's you. not like you can go to the game. You have to watch it on TV. So why why can't you accommodate these people? Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. I guess. Bad job by Major League Baseball again. And the networks. And the networks. Both of them together in cahoots for some yep. reason. No doubt. All right. Well, Evil media. That's right. Okay. All right, Mr. Evil Media, we'll check with you tomorrow. You got it, guys. Have a great day. Take care, Mike. Mike Cosby with a check on sports this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.